Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who does lead and rule well. Salutations and Shalom to all you hopeful like Akim, pushing out this word in sincerity and in truth at the four corners of the earth. And sincere Shalom also to all you Akim and Akwaf, listening and learning, preparing yourselves here in these last days. And to your entire household of faith, fighting this good fight of faith, I want to say Shalom. This is your brother Duquah from the DC camp. Come back with you with another lesson. And I'm going to title this one Unseemly. All right, just a quick lesson. Um, it was inspired. I was in the store the other day uh, waiting for my food. And I see this this person come in in a woman's apparel, but had a beard. And it was just, obviously, we see it a lot, but it just I was just dwelling on it, thinking like this. It's, it's hard to look at, man. <laughs> and um, the, the, you know, unseemly came into my my mind. So I started looking up. I said, this must be what unseemly means, man. You know, it's hard to look at unseemly. So I just wanted to look up the word, you know, and, um, you know, this is just what it means. It says not in keeping with accepted standards of what is right or proper in polite society. So, um, this is what this definition is. This is, this is obviously diction guru.com, you know, but, um, in this society, it is accepted, you know, but in a righteous society, it is frowned upon. You know, we was given law, statutes and commandments that we were to follow to be in the image of the Heavenly Father, which is how we know that this is not the image of the Lord, man. This 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 image that they're putting out is not the image of the Lord. And the Lord is going to be furious at it. It's going to say when he wake up, he's going to be, uh, uh, abhor their image, man. You know, and the cry is going up to the Lord. A part of the videos that we doing is a cry unto the Lord to correct this place, man. You know, because it's completely wicked. Now, it says synonyms, indecorous, improper, inappropriate, unbecoming, unfitting, unbefitting, unsuitable, unworthy, undignified, unrefined, indiscreet, indelicate, ungentlemanly, unladylike, impolite. All right, and I'm going to get some of those definitions, but I also wanted to get the etymon online. And the opposite of that word is seemly. So then what does that mean? Okay. It's not. Look this up, man. So it says uh, unseemly is the adjective visually unpleasing. <laughs> so right then and there, I knew that has to be what it meant, man. You know, unattractive, ugly, unfitting, indecent, inappropriate. I don't think I'm be it. Okay, I could do it. Unfitting, it says not fitting or suitable, unbecoming, unhealthy. Which it is unhealthy. It doesn't produce life. You know. Oh, they don't have to, uh, indecent, not conforming with generally accepted standards of behavior or propriety. Obscene. Now uh, it says revealing. Now this, this is according when we speaking. We speaking from the, our our customs, man. You know, we speaking from the perspective of our people. The scriptures say, uh, "Let me see if I can get it." <laughs> get my first scripture. This is Deuteronomy eighteen verse twelve. It says, "For all these." For all that do these things are an abomination unto Yahweh, and because of these abominations, Yahweh thy power doth drive them out from before thee. So all these different things, these different acts that these these other nations have have done, was the re was the reason why they was driven out of the land, and we was given the land, you know. And when you think about it, it all goes back to Jake because that was originally our land. I'm talking about the sons of God. All right. Um, wait. That was talking about um, using that scripture was going into using uh, divination. You know, witchcraft, man. You know, but a lot of witchcraft is being used on our people to, to, to do these things, man. And it starts with your entertainment industry. As a matter of fact, let me go here. Look at this. 
You know, this is what's promoted. This is what's promoted. And in, in look at the MTV. You know, this is what promoted on our people, and, and this is the result that you get from it. You know, it's witchcraft, man. All right, inappropriate. Not suitable or proper in the circumstances. Now, when you go into the word seemly, it says of pleasing or good appearance, handsome, fair. Also of conduct, proper, tasteful, decorous, good for a purpose. You see that? Now, now when you go to... um. What's that scripture? Uh, yeah. This is the scripture that has unseemly in it. This is Romans 1. And I'm going to start at... Uh, Fourteen. It said, I mean, 24. Romans 1 verse 24 says, Wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Because the scriptures say, if a man lie with mankind uh, as he lieth with a woman, it's in a, it is an abomination. And we know the rest. He shall surely be put to death. You know, this world, they teach that it's acceptable, but they don't teach the consequences of it. You know? This is why this world is, is trying to cross out the Lord, you know, and, and act as if he isn't real. Now, you see the consequences. People behave as if the Lord it, it doesn't exist and that there's not going to be a judgment for it, you know. But there was a judgment for Sodom and Gomorrah. It was it was um, placing an example for those that should have to live ungodly. You know, let, let me get that real quick. Because the scriptures say that uh, those that, uh, that was of Sodom and Gomorrah was, uh, was wicked exceedingly, man. You know? Uh, this is uh, 2 Peter 2, verse 6. It says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. All right? So it was an example for you that should after should live ungodly. And that's how you living. You know? Going back to Romans 1 and 25, it says, Who changed the most high? Who changed the truth of the most high into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever? Amen. Or to what? It says, For this cause the most high gave them up unto vile affections. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. That's that's pretty straightforward, and that's in the New Testament. So I'm not sure what all these people is talking about, man. <laughs> you know, you got a whole bunch of these people, Christians. You got a, I seen a, a a post with this pastor who claimed to be a Christian, man, and he's like, well, the the the, the speaker said um, he was on a, a podcast. The speaker asked him, "What do you have to say when people say that you can't be?" you know, a homosexual and be a pastor. He said, well, it exists because I exist. He said it can because I exist. And then he said it was from a misinterpretation of old scripture. You know, um, this is the CSB. It says, for this reason, the Most High delivered them over to disgraceful passions. Their women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. And, 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 and that's all we see in this society, man. You know? Women in, in competition with each other to see who can eat, you know, the 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 box the the best, <laughs> you know. It, it's 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 ridiculous, man. And this shows you where we at with it, man. You know, it's it's hard to look at, and it's all over the place, man. You know, for something that is against na nature. Look, the, in the New uh, Living Translation, it says, that is why the Most High abandoned them to their shameful desires. Even the woman turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulged in sex with each other. You see that? And that's what they've done, man. 
It says verse uh, 27. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. Men working, men with men working that which is unseemly and received in themselves that recompense of the error which was meat. All right, so now let's look at some comparisons here. CSB again, it says the men in the same way also left unnatural, left natural relations with women and were inflamed in their lust for one another. Men committed shameless acts with men and received in their own persons the appropriate penalty of their error. <laughs> so you got all these diseases, you know. Let me see what else. Um, this is the NLT. It says, and the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burnt with their lust for one for each other. Men did shameful things with other men, and as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserved. All right. So this is showing you that the even in the New Testament, the Most High is not with it. He's always consistent. He's not the author of confusion. Okay. This is just ridiculous, man. Just look at this shit. Complete confusion backwards. But that's what's allowed, man. Get us the the source dot plus. What are other words for unseemly? Indecent, unbecoming, and decorous. Hey Siri. Define indecorous. It says not in keeping with good taste or propriety improper. Alright. It's wrong. Simply wrong. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to look up the word unbecoming. Um, hold up. Let me go back to this. Seemly. All right. Look, the notion is suited to the object, occasion, purpose, or character. This is worthy of respect and honorable. All right. It's not fitting. Here we go. And that's gross. It's disgraceful, man. Indecent. I'm becoming in bad taste. That's why you're smoking the Lord's nose, man. All right. But that's what I wanted right there. Let me get a few scriptures. I'm going to close on this. Um, this is Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertain, pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination until you have thy power. Okay? Because you can't sit up here and say, because we had somebody like three, two, three weeks ago, you know what month it is. They call it Pride Month. But at the same time, it's, it's men's health awareness. <laughs> well, if you cared about men's health, our real men's health, you would understand that the righteous men is vexed you know, with the filthy conversation of the wicked, just like uh, uh, Lot was. All right? And a man shouldn't be wearing a woman's apparel. And a woman shouldn't be wearing a uh, men's apparel. Also, a woman shouldn't be wearing harlot's apparel. You know, that's inappropriate. It's indecent. And this is why sins is multiplied on the earth, man. Okay. It's another one. Um, talking about the beards. You got men with beards fucking wearing dresses. I mean, it's just crazy, man. What's the motherfucker? Let me look it up. From um, uh, all American uh, spinoff. What the hell is it called? Homecoming. Look at this shit, man. This nigga right here. Let me see. Shit, crazy. Hold up. Yeah. Look at this damn shit. Goddamn beard. On TV, man. This is what they put in. This is what they put into the forefront, man. This is blasphemy. You know what is going on? What is happening? You know enough, but it's unseemly, man. 
You know? Isaiah 3 verse 9, it says, The show of their conscience doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not, woe unto their souls, for they have rewarded an evil unto themselves. Like, it keep, it's, it's, a, it's a constant theme, theme, man. You know, so, more than likely, even in Isaiah's day, man, you know, sin was displayed openly. You know, and they had no sense of shame. That's what we're seeing here, man. That's why it's Babylon. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, confusion. You know? This is crazy, man. And, uh, you got these other people, they sh shaving their beards, man. You know? We shouldn't be shaving our beards and our hair. Oh, this is another one. This is 1 Corinthians 11 and 14. Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair... It is a shame unto him. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her. For her hair is given her for an, a covering. But if any man seem to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither the churches of God. And you see women with bald ass heads. You see men with long hair from a distance. You can't tell which is what. In D.C., shit, man. Unless you see, you might as well just. You know, after you don't even just, it's, it's crazy, man. Because you think you're talking to a woman, it might be a goddamn man. This is just, this is sick. You know? But the scriptures doesn't agree with that. And, um, you know, no matter what this world tells you. So, this is why we aren't to conform to the ways of this world. But conform to, to uh, or be renewed, you know, with the renewing of our minds, man. You know, so with that, Lord willing, was edifying to the next lesson. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham, Rakhah Gudash. So next one, I want to say Shalom.